Albuquerque, New Mexico, 2008. A meek 50-year-old high school chemistry teacher named Walter White is diagnosed with terminal stage 3 lung cancer, and he's told that he has less than a year to live. Upon hearing the news, Walter White looks for a way to cash in on his mastery of chemistry and leave a legacy for his wife and two kids. Walter teams up with a deadbeat former student named Jesse Pinkman. Together, they start their own methamphetamine operation. After a few seasons of blunders and struggle, Walt becomes a cunning and ruthless criminal and transforms into the world's leading methamphetamine kingpin. He eventually amasses a fortune worth over $80 million and he intends to discreetly leave it to his family, all as a result of him breaking bad. If you were to advise a client on how to pass on $80 million of illegal drug money without being caught, what would you advise? The no. First no. Be, no, 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 We are not. We <laughs> cannot tell people on a podcast how to launder money. So, <laughs> that would get us disbarred. You should be completely candy with your lawyer about everything. Yeah. This might be one of those things that you might want to keep on the shelf. It's yep. better to tell me it's, oh, it's just family money. Okay. Because yep. uh, I cannot be allowed to participate in your crime or fraud. Gotcha. Yeah. So hold on. So so attorney client privilege lasts until someone says, Hey, I committed this. There really are a few crime. there are some exceptions to so attorney client exception. privilege. Gotcha. Yeah. So fraud. Another one would be uh, if somebody is in immediate danger of of, har of serious harm or death. I've had this happen, right? Where a client tells me that they are going to go beat up so and so. Now you have to call and the police. I had to call the cops. I've had to do that three times. Well, yeah. So don't tell your attorney that you're in the midst of... Uh, don't, yeah. <laughs> we don't need to know where the money came from. We need to know where it is and how it's being held. Yes. Gotcha. One thing you're going to want to be concerned about with $80 million is still the estate tax. Okay. <laughs> so what you'll probably end up doing regardless is setting it up in trust and probably buying a life insurance policy to cover your tax liabilities. But if he were not in facing a terminal condition, he might want to start making set up trust for his children and, stuff and start making strategic annual gifts to start conveying his wealth and also putting his property into a um so just like a qualified personal residence trust where you slowly transition ownership of it from yourself to your intended heirs and that would be a, a significant tax event um okay there's no legal way no to answer that question give, yeah it's, it's not even legalized i could give you that was legal yeah gotcha. <laughs> if you were to do that it would be I would just not be with the help of a lawyer it, it would, it would you would be, need to it, figure it out on your own in season two walt and jesse meet a slimy lawyer named saul goodman who gives them an education in laundering money which we can't obviously saul advise is not on the ethical up and up yeah up no here. they eventually buy a car wash and walt's accountant wife skyler helps him cook the books so that they can eventually justify all this money to the irs do criminals often buy small businesses to justify their illicit earnings to the government like is it a, is it a wild I don't have statistics on that yeah. okay i wish i did I, again I should have if i if i if i were to sit here and say like yes that is very common yeah. that is me telling people how to launder money breaking bad was a well-researched well-put-together show and that's all i'm gonna say perfect yeah let's just avoid that I mean, so we but, don't but, have but, to but deal with the bar when will the irs inter intervene and audit someone when you don't so, pay like, your taxes they want their money that's in a lot of industries and is that when you make large cash deposits, a lot of times the bank will make you report where you got it from. Gotcha. So okay. that and it's usually large cash deposits are usually triggers of elite of checking in on things. Yeah, and 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 it is that is a triggering event for them to look into something. But just so people know, it is illegal to try to structure deposits to avoid that. As a general rule, since you're talking to your bank, don't don't violate the law. Just talk to your bank. Don't lie to your bank. And Yep. Get their process for it. Yeah, They will probably make you fill out some paperwork or whatever and report where you got right. it from. I don't recommend becoming a criminal, but I really don't recommend not paying your taxes. <laughs> just, just go ahead and pay your regard, What's regardless. What's worse than a criminal, a tax of it? Isn't no, that like a quote No, because it's a whole new crime. I'm sure that, I think that does sound like a quote that I've heard. Yeah. Because it's easier to prove tax evasion than anything else. The burden is very easy. Yeah. Like you have this much money and IRS receive this little money. Yeah. And you have to weigh yeah. the two numbers. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to fix. Whereas the drug stuff, everything else, it's right. a much harder case to prove. Um, if you guys had no morals, uh, a burning vengeance, and a year left to live, uh, how would you uniquely leverage your own skills to amass as much money as possible? Oh, <laughs> I would probably, to make as much money as possible, I would start a cult. <laughs> yeah, I would start yeah. a religion using your. I would not start a cult. I'll start a five hundred one c three foundation for 
purposes that happen to celebrate me as their <laughs> godlike leader. Cults can be tax, tax exempt. The cult is not a tax term that gets your deductions to be made tax deductible. I want people to make lots of tax Steven, I, gifts to my foundation for a better Steven, life. I, through... I only <laughs> have a year left to live. I'm not going to pay any more taxes. My donors <laughs> I am looking for people that are going to be like, yeah, I'll sell all my stuff and I live with you donors, out in the desert. The cult. I want my cult members mm -hmm. to have jobs and money that they're concerned with their taxes. I don't want, bro I don't want a cult I want... of broke people. The issue is not are they broke while they're in your cult. The issue is are they broke when they join your cult. Because yeah. if somebody has money, I don't I don't care how much money they have as long as they put it all into the bank account that I control. Right. And that I use to buy all the, like, None fun less, scotch that I want to try <laughs> out. <laughs> that I want to use to buy the new Xbox One X so I can play some 4K video games. I'm trying to set, take care of my family. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm going to get a life insurance policy, no, but I'm going to fund that, that with my hot cult. Do you not care about your wife? Do you not want your wife to have this cult <laughs> To inherit that's your like cult. A, that's like a oh. financial engine for her. Let me make one thing abundantly clear. <laughs> My wife will want nothing to do with the cult. This will, be, <laughs> this will very much be a look. On, I, I, you know, this is something so, I got to do for so me. <laughs> and and I'm going to split some time. So, like, part of my time. I mean, it'll, <laughs> if I can, I'm going to make it a Zoom cult. So so that I can do it all. Right. I just want people to give me oh, I was wrong. money. I changed my mind about what I wanted. And use that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let us know in the comments. Um, post a comment, like this video, and if you could share this, that would be fantastic. Guys, we recently created a PDF about estate planning, and James is going to tell you about it. Yeah, so it is a primer for people that are thinking about estate planning or are thinking that maybe they should be thinking about estate planning. And we try to just go through uh, some of the big mistakes that we see people make and what you can do to try to avoid those same mistakes. So go ahead and check it out. Hopefully yeah. you learned something. It's called the three biggest mistakes to avoid when planning an estate um, or something along those lines. The Working link title. Is, <laughs> the link is in the description. Go ahead, check it out, um, and it will help you uh, figure your stuff out. If you would like an estate planner, if you have an estate planning question, give us a call, 404-939-7562, or send us an email, info at scriberlaw.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.